Shalom. Like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, double honors of apostles of Great Millstone, of whom I learned this truth. Peace and blessing to the hopeful elect. And um name's Kanawak. Um just doing a quick uh video. Um this is about Canada. This is an article. It says uh it says Canada armed it says Canada armed as Chinese fighters pilots buzz Canadian planes over international waters. And also we're in a time where uh, you know these you know like these other uh, nations like these other uh, nations uh, like the Chinese um, you know the Russians and all of these different nations they're uh, they are something for war you know and uh, you know so what's going on there is uh, a lot of tension in the air so-called tension it says a uh, senior Canadian government officials are growing increasingly concerned over a dangerous escalation in 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 aggression by Chinese fighters pilots in the skies above the Asia in the Asia Pacific region said so multiple sources in the Canadian forces art and the federal government tell global news that Chinese jets are repeatedly buzzing a Canadian surveillance plane that is part of the United Nation mission over the international waters. Those jets are frequently flying at close as 20 to 100 feet from the Canadian plane, sources say. So close to the Canadian pilots can make eye contact with the Chinese pilots. So yeah, so we're in uh, Red Dawn. You watch that movie, uh, Red Dawn. You know, um, that came on the early uh, nineteen uh, ninety, the nineteen eighties. You know, yeah. So um, you know, there's like there's gonna be a lot of tension, man. You see how how close they're they're like they're flying, you know, very close by, in close proximity. You know and. Um, you know, and that's going to come right here, you know, and they already been here, man, the Chinese, you know, and then now that the Ukrainians and all them, you know, like they're, they're, you know, like they're bringing them here to Canada, you know, and then um, even though right now it's June, you know, he's talking about pride, he should be, he should be concerned about the Chinese, you know, but I'm going to just make just gonna um just um wanna put this I'm gonna um show this video quick and then we're gonna get a couple of scriptures. High speed, high flying fighter jet dog fights and narrowly buzzing control towers. It's the stuff of high adrenaline action movies. Though for modern militaries, more like juvenile relics of the past. But Global News has learned that China is putting Royal Canadian Air Force crews in the danger zone with high-risk, high-aggression tactics in international airspace. The Chinese military is using what sources call dangerous maneuvers to intercept Canadian intelligence aircraft, currently on a UN mission to enforce sanctions against North Korea. Fast and agile Chinese fighter jets are buzzing Canada's slower Aurora aircraft, with razor-thin margins, frequently zooming past the planes a mere 20 to 100 feet away, creating enough turbulence alone that Canadian planes could be thrown off course or risk a mid-air collision. It would be terrifying for them to do any kind of evasive maneuver because they might uh, trick the Chinese fighter pilot into doing something even more irresponsible and more dangerous. So the best they can do is fly along and hope that the Chinese fighter pilot doesn't make a mistake. 
The Chinese pilots are so close, multiple sources told Global News, the Canadians can make eye contact with them and see the Chinese pilots flipping them the middle finger. Senior military officials are concerned it risks the safety and even the lives of Canadian crews. And this isn't a case of a single pilot hot-dogging. Sources say there have been approximately 60 intercepts since Christmas, and nearly half of those have been dangerous. The Canadian government has sent multiple official diplomatic rebukes to China, calling the manoeuvre unsafe and unprofessional, all to no avail. The fact that the Chinese government is not responding to Canadian concerns seeking to rein this kind of uh, adventurism in is also very concerning. One source told Global News pilots and commanders carefully assess the risk before each flight takes off, but there is growing concern that the new tactics signal a new tone from China. Nithu? Yeah, so you see all this tension in the air, and uh, the, the Canadians shouldn't even be in the, in the, in, like, they shouldn't even try to, um, you know, try to combat China, man, because, you know, because, you know, Canada is not like the America where they, you know, like where they're armed and, and they're prepared and, you know, and they have the power, you know, and they have the, 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 the jets and military, you know, type uh, equipment, everything, you know, like, you know, like Canada is a very like, like a peace, like so-called peace co like a peaceful, um, you know, county, you know, I mean, like a peace, you know, like, um, the Canadians are like peacemakers, so-called, you know, but, you know, so, you know, so they have to stay out of, uh, you know, like China's affairs, right, you know, so, um, yeah, so this, uh, that this Trudeau Gover guy, he, like he has a lot of things to on his plate, man. But um, you know, but this is all prophecy's sake. Everything that's happening is not by coincidence. It's all it's ordained by the Father Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, His Son. All right. So this is Psalm sixty and Psalm sixty verse eight. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom will I cast out my my shoe and. Um, you know, and the wash part is when, you know, the Lord, you know, like the Lord's going to use Moab to like destroy America ultimately, you know, and, um, and the, 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 uh, like the times that we're in, we're definitely approaching the, to the third world war. We're in it. It's brewing up. Until it, it ignites and it, and it explodes. Alright. And over Edom when I cast out my shoe. Alright. And like Edom is the so-called uh, white race. So-called. You know the Edomites. The Idomians. Where Edom when I cast out my shoe. And it says Philistia. Triumph thou because of me. Alright. So the Philistines or the Palestines. You know, you're, you're the so-called Hamites now as well. You know, the Mosai is going to get these damn Hamites as well too. And you damn people in the land of Palestine, you know. Because ultimately, you know, you know, like you guys are fighting for your, you know, for uh, the land of Israel, you know, but you're not the real inhabitants, you know. And uh, the the real people, the real inhabitants are gonna, are like will like will be, you know, like the real inhabitants will come, you know, like to the land, you know, um, like uh, on like when the Lord comes, and you know, the hundred forty four thousand, and the, the multitude is gonna come down with the ships in Revelation, and uh, yeah, um, you just uh, this is uh, Ezekiel. 38 and uh let me get ezekiel 38 and verse 1 where's ezekiel ezekiel so okay ezekiel 38 verse 1 it says um ezekiel 38 verse 1 and the lord power came unto me saying son of man set thy face against gog 
the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against against him. So the land of Magog is uh, you know it was is you know is was in the ancient world was called the land of Japhet, right? Which was a uh, Gog. You know, Gog was the original inhabitants of it, the, the Japhites, right? And, um, but now the inhabitants of that land is known as the Russians, which are the so called white people, inhabitants, all right? And um, it says, uh, it says, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the, the chief prince of Magog, the, the chief. Prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesy against him and say, Thus saith the Lord Power, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Alright. And um yeah, the land of Magog is referring to the Russia. It's the land of Russia, alright? You know that Russia they uh they have a big landmass, man. Alright, and it says, I will turn the back and put hooks into thy jaws and i will bring thee forth and all thine thine army all right so if you look at this uh if you look at the um the symbol if you look at their flag all right which is a hook right so that's prophecy right so the lord's gonna he's gonna use the russians to I'd like to go against America and to destroy each other. All right, because ultimately the Lord Yahweh and his father and his and his son, no, his, the the Lord like Yahweh and Yahweh his son, is gonna have the complete dominion. You know, um, like after the smoke clears. Ultimately, says um. The it says the Soviet Union official officially the, the the Soviet Union Republican was a communist state that spanned much of much of Eurasia from nineteen twenty two to nineteen ninety one. All right, so nineteen ninety one is when the Soviet Union fell, but now you know. Now they're known as the um like Repub or, or not no now they're known as the um like the Russians, right? It's like a Russian Slakia. Like, yeah. I think the Confederation of Russia. Yeah, yeah, the Russian Confederation, right? Like that's their you know, like that's their corporation name now, right? But known as the USSR, but now, you know, they're coming back into that into that power, man. And uh, you see that? You see all this stuff? They have a lot of, um, a lot of power, man. All right? And they're against uh, NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Like, yeah. You know, NATO and and Russia, you know, they're two different entities. All right. It says, uh, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thine arm horse and all thy army horses and horsemen and all clothed uh, horses and horsemen and all them clothed with swords. All sorts of armor, so with their uh, their their tanks, jets, you know their missiles, you know you know and like a lot of they have a lot of different you know like technology, man, you know and America has a lot of technology, but like you know but Russia has a way way way, you know like they're um like Russia they have a a missile that's called Satan One. And I think a couple months ago, I think a month or two ago, um, like they have the Satan too, you know, and and like that could, you know, it could wipe out the whole population of America if they want, 
you know so they so they're doing all these exp all these experiments but this you know is it, it's all it's all leading up to this you know the third world war the third world all right with all sorts of armor every man clothed with bucklers and swords and and handling swords persia so there's that's a rain ethiopia even ethiopia is 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 in the news man like ethiopia is is um trying like um like ethiopia is standing with russia right now libya with with them and all of them with shield and helmets so yeah so they're so they're so these different nations who were once weak are are standing up and they're gonna uh you know like they're gonna come against the horde i think revelation uh i think eight it says uh one woe is past and behold the third world cometh let me find it one woe Yeah, Revelation nine, it's like yeah. Um, so Revelation. Um, just start at uh, start at the twelve, Revelation nine and twelve. One woe is past, and behold, there cometh two woes more he more hereafter. So, you know, um, the one woe is World War One. Which was, I believe, uh, from nineteen fourteen to like nineteen eighteen, and uh, the second war was World War Two, which was from like nineteen forty to like nineteen forty four. You know, and um, now we're approaching the third world war. You know, you know the, the, that's coming. You know, and we're like we're in the midst of the world, the of a World War Three. Three. Um, I'm just trying to. Um, thing. This is a uh, Second Ezra six and one. Um, woe unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Sir, all right. So you know, we know that Babylon is um the so-called Iraq. Or, uh, or or like or Nineveh, all right. But this is the spiritual place, Babylon, you know, which is uh, the virgin daughter of Babylon, which is Isaiah forty-seven and one, all right, which I could get. It says it will unto thee, Babylon and Asia. So that's uh, that's China, you know, and will unto thee, Egypt and Syria. And look at Syria, man. You know, Syria was destroyed, man. You know, I think the early, it's been like 10, it's been like 10 years, man. Like, look at Syria and it's in, and, and it's in, and it's in ruins. So imagine right now, you know, like when, when more destruction comes on that land. All right. Gird up yourselves with sackcloth and hair and beware your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. So yeah, so they have a lot of yeah. The Lord's gonna bring more destruction until He brings that final judgment. All right. Um, let me just get Isaiah like forty-seven and three, and I'm gonna close out. Cause I'm, I don't want to make this too long. Uh, Isaiah forty-seven and one. Come eat, come down and sit down in dust. O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Uh, uh, thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. All right, um, you know, and the virgin, like the virgin daughter of Babylon, which we're referring to America, right? Because America, they don't have no. Uh, you know, um, no, um, no big heavy walls and stuff, you know, so it's like open season, man, 
all right and but you know you know but, but it's like they have that you know but, but america they had that power right because with their um you know like with their uh, like their u.s um arms you know and um and their um you know their um you know like they have a lot of different types of power you know but you know but this is you know but, but, but their power is, is coming to an end basically um so let's see um it says come down O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit down on the ground there is no throne O daughter of chaldeans for thou shalt no one be called tender and delicate and the daughter of chaldeans referring to the elite bloodline of the powers that r run this world all right you know, but it says, Thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. All right, so let me just look at, at delicate, all right? Tender and delicate. Let's look at that word. Yeah, because, yeah, because they're living fat, you know, off of our blood, sweat, and tears, and they, they're, they're murdered. Their ro their robbery man, and just a, and just a fraud and a lot of a lot of wickedness man. You know, and but now the you know like the pie piper you know the, the you know like the, the crit like the reaper, <laughs> is gonna come right. It's a tender soft. It says um, tender. It's like yeah. A tender it's on the blue leather tender rock okay let's check that rock tender soft delicate weak tender delicate of flesh yeah right now america is weak canada is weak <laughs> you know you know so all these people that's in power and the elite bloodlines, you know, like, you know, like, they're going to be, uh, you know, like, right now, they're, like, they're weakened, you know, like, but they don't know what to do, you know, and they're going to try, hide. they're going to hide in these uh, underground uh, bunkers and all that stuff, you know, until, like, when the Lord comes and, and, and he's going to deal with them, because this is not our, like, this is not our, it, this is it, it's all it's all scriptures you know th that we're uh, uh like talking about it says uh take take the millstone and grind meal uncover thy locks and make bare the leg uncover the thigh and pass over the rock all right and right now america is being made is made is being made bare you know and shown you know onto the world you know, and these and these different nations like uh like the Arabian like the like the Arabians and certain um uh, the same Afghanistanians and stuff like you know like they look at America and they don't want you know certain certain things upon their land you know you know because they see that you know that 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 though that whole like you know, like the whole philosophy. You know of the America with the um. You know, but it says um, it says it says thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, it says this. It says thy shame shall be seen. I will, I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. So this is when the Lord, and this and and, and the, the, it, this is all. You know, it says I will. It says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, it says, Thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. So when the father and, and, and his son comes, but we you know, but the Lord is going to come on behalf of the father, and he's going to, and he's going to, and he's going to redeem vengeance, man. All right, and it's not going to be pretty because it's, it's going to be a sp literally a spiritual spanking with ease, you know, that when the Lord comes, and he's going and he's going to 
called with Michael, you know, uh, like the archangel, all right, and many and many angels, all right, all right. It says, um, for our redeemer, it says for our redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel, all right. And uh, you could read Isaiah forty-seven and one, and. Um, and I like to just say all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem, and uh, Shalom. And this is just a quick um, impromptu. So Shalom, Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem, Barakatah, Yahweh, Hashem, Barakatah, Shalom.